I have experienced being ignored growing up. Even in the deaf community, oh, I'm not a white person, and so I would be overlooked. So it was something that ingrained in me like I wasn't enough, right? For me as an activist and artist, I accepted both identities together. My activism is considered as art. My art is considered as activism too. I was so good at being invisible that I needed to stop. I have to stay in the spotlight, even worse as being a deaf person. I need to be strong in the spotlight. That's been my goal for the past five years, to stay in the spotlight. I really enjoy Christine Sun Kim's presentation. It was definitely worth it. Asians have long been silent and we must change that. We must show that what we can do it and we are proud of ourselves. Her work has impacted many youth in the world. Her impact has inspired many of us, making us feel that we can do it. We can be creative in ways how we are proud to be Asian. CK's story as an Asian person was very interesting. There were many points of being an Asian person, such as how you feel in a home, what you experience in your past, and so forth. I was really taken aback by CK's story that growing up as a deaf person, she never really thought much about her Korean identity and culture. Over the years, she would find her deaf identity, then her Korean identity, and then realizing she identifies both of them. She has two identities as a deaf and a Korean person. I strongly relate to that because my family adopted me from China. Then I moved here when I was 14 years old. I only thought about my deaf identity, but not think about my Chinese identity. Then two years ago, I joined Asian club. I found my Chinese identity there. I now have two identities as a deaf and Chinese person. I strongly agree to this, and I will always remember this experience. Hi, I really enjoyed CK's presentation yesterday and that inspired me. One reason is because I want to become an artist. Watching the presentation has motivated me to strive for becoming a famous artist one day. Thank you. And the most inspiring thing is that Christine Sung Kim, CK, wanted to meet Asian students from CSDR since she heard that Asian club was not active. She wanted to meet us and that re-inspired us. CK wanted to recognize the Asian students at CSDR.